Alright, good evening. We're gonna just chill and play some Subnautic tonight. So let's go. Like I'm finally getting the hang of this game, figured out how to build habitats, how to sea glide. Not sure what we're gonna try and do Order. now though. Emergency power only. Or I can't remember what we were going to do. We got the radiation suit. Oh yeah, we got a compass as well. Oh yeah, and a rebreather so we can go deeper. Let's just explore now. I'm like I've been so scared of going deep underwater that I haven't really explored. I feel like I should just pick a direction and go there. Probably towards the ship now that we've got a radiation suit. Those fast move. I gotta go, um, that thing it swims around. It's almost like a, um, looking crazy, writhing around like a basilisk or something. I've been too scared to get close to it, but I should scan it. sand shark. Oh, it's not chasing me. It's just doing its own thing. It's dancing around. Not very dangerous. Unless you go right up to it. Oh, wait, what is this? Emoth is a one person vehicle with an independent replaceable power cell. Modified by installing. Thank <laughs> you. 
94% muscle, 4% tissue, 2% brain. Indiscriminate when hungry, almost always hungry. Open the jaw like recess in its protective outer shell. To error 463, share its beauty, do not resist. Assessment, draw closer. Vital signs stabilizing. Medium sized predator. Oh god, I hate to see what the large sized predators are. By feeding any hungry specimens. I gotta figure out how to feed them. <laughs> Apparently they have feet. Okay, wait, hold on. Do I have a blueprint for the Seamoth? Ingredients unknown. Have you been to the Aurora? The crash ship, right? That is literally where I was just talking about heading. I am I am scared as hell of the deep part of like basically everywhere, so I haven't I barely explored. But since we've been finding all these survivor or getting all these radio messages from survivors that like, I'm thinking I should head there. Looking at that, look at all this wreckage. Maybe I'll find something here. Oh, a sea glide. I already have the sea glide. There are two very dangerous creatures there. Not one, there's two. Wait. I can actually get a vending machine inside. I can actually put a vending machine in my habitat. Vending machine. Ah. Whoa, well, what do you know? I actually want to try that. See what it gives. Found in the back and front. All right, so I'll just go to the side. Have you seen the sunbeam? No, they're coming to save us, right? I think we got a radio message from them. Yes, and something will happen. Oh. I yeah, I'm <laughs> I'm, I'm guessing we're not going to get saved. That wouldn't. Or that doesn't really seem like a fit ending for the game. Oh, a ship showed up and saved you. Game's over. <laughs> Pilot. 
passing 100 meters. Oxygen I wonder if there's radiation oxygen. here. Oh shit, there is. Oh, and my health just goes down. So I guess I need a Seamoth or a ship for this part. So that I can withstand the radiation and the low temperature. Don't go down, okay. Oh man, this terrifies me going to the surface. Seeing how deep it is. Oh my god, we're like at the back of the ship. Dude, look at that giant engine. That is wicked. Oh, no way, another Seamoth. Whoa, okay, so we can see these Seamoth fragments from a really far, far away. Is that another one right there? Oh, we might have the sea moth. Oh my god. Holy shit. Get the hell away from me. Creatures like eating sea moths. Oh no. Oh. Yeah, we saw those biters that like metal. Okay, so titanium and good power cell, which I think is just two batteries. Last lubricant. I'd, oh my god, I think we can make that right now. We can actually. These are what you need for, for lubricant. We can just grab these in case we have any. Acid mushrooms, batteries. Oh, inventory full. I wonder how fat I. Oh man. If I get my own little submarine. I think I'll actually feel safe going deep underwater. What? It, oh my god, they're lifting the pieces of metal up in the air. You won't be safe, you'll be fast. Oh. Like, it provides oxygen though, right? Like, you don't have to keep going up to the surface when you have a submarine, I'm assuming. Yes? Oh, man. So that is, that is, I think, like, I keep forgetting to go up for oxygen, that is what I need to go, go deep. Okay, so I got lead, I got that, need some more titanium, which I have right here. Wait, the sea moth isn't here. Grab trap, 
hard to fuck with beacon mode. Okay. Fabricates vehicles from raw materials. Oh my god, I need this. I need to get that first. I should have realized. So yeah, two batteries. And silicone now. And I hope I have silicone rubber. I actually used one of the three clusters for that. Let's see. Emergency power only. Oxygen production offline. Okay, so I got one battery. Silicon rubber. Oh, we got another radium message. Need to place a solar panel on your base? Yeah, I'm not really using this as a base though, I'm just putting, um, putting my items here. Laser cutter and propulsion cannon. Yeah, shit. Okay, I'm gonna need to go and get some silicone rubber. Adrian hey, VR. I'm doing good. I'm loving Subnautica. This is Sunbeam. You know Aurora. We're from a little transgov on the far side of Andromeda, and we have a saying there. There's no bad without the good, no good without the bad. Sounds like you tasted a bunch of the former, but that only means you're overdue a whole lot of the latter. Might just be we're it. We're scanning for somewhere to park. We'll be in touch when we find it. Sunbeam out. Still no coding stream. We want some nerd stuff. Man, I was doing a coding stream like all day for the pat. Or I did like four coding streams these past few days. Actually, more than four. I've been doing. I've been back to doing coding streams each day. Gotta get silicon rubber. And I'm just thinking what else after that? I think we have enough. Maybe need more acid mushrooms. And I'm not sure if we'll need more copper than as well.
Alright, now the question is, do I have enough copper? I don't think I do. No, this is gold. I'm gonna go get some copper, I think. There's some copper. Oh, we can actually use our rebreather here. change the color of this. Oh, that's so much easier to see. Oh my god. There we go. Oh my god, derp. I also need acid mushrooms. code in my world. What is... What do you mean? What's that explosion sound? Here we go, power cell. Oh, you mean like you apply certain colors to specific things? Red for explored area, yellow for vehicles, orange for regions. Ah, okay. That's good. Oh man, I imagine if you like... Oh man, if you start getting tons of bases and things, that could get like crazy to manage. Full.
Damn, look at this thing. Okay, so... Yeah, I guess I need to put this thing out. To craft the... Demos? Okay, I'm gonna get the materials for this first. I'm pretty sure I already have them. Uh, hold on, I gotta go to the washroom in a second. I know their resources won't despawn. You mean respawn? No, I have, I have no idea about any of this stuff. This is Officer Keen in Lightpod 19. The captain is gone. Oh, uh, rip captain. The last thing the captain did was give me coordinates for dry land. We regroup one and a half what? kilometers southwest of the crash site. Dry Stay land? together and good luck. This message will now repeat. Wait, what? The coordinates dry land. Transmission origin coordinates downloaded. Signal location uploaded. One and a half PDA. kilometers southwest of crash site. Yes, there is dry land. Okay, I think that's that'll maybe be one of the first places we go with our CMOF. Okay, so let's get two glass. Emergency power only. Oxygen production offline. We don't have two glass. We gotta craft it. I'm gonna put this stuff away until I have all my materials ready. Oh my god, I'm done. Let's grab those quartz. Oh, that's salt, it's not quartz. And I'll just grab this titanium while I'm here. Oh, it's telling me. Release vehicle bay.
I have to wait till I get the next message from Sunbeam? Why? Is there any reason I can't just go? land on an island. Okay. I don't know, man. I'll just go with the flow. And the flow right now says I'm starving. Look at that. Doesn't that just look delicious? Some more water soon. All right, I think I got everything. Yep. I don't need this little guy anymore. Actually, I might still want that. Okay, well, at least vehicle bay. Look at that. What is that? <laughs> what is this thing? Can I ride it? Is this thing a vehicle on its own? Oh. That's weird. <laughs> and use vehicles. One person sea and space vehicle. The sea moth is a fast, safe mode of transport, but remember that swimming is good for your glutes and endorphin levels. Oh, look at them! They're like 3D printers. Welcome, Captain. I'm a captain now. Oh my god, this is this is wonky. Holy cow. Second officer Keen's last. Oh, we should go. That's a thousand. That is a thousand units away. Um. Oh, if we should go and do that. This is fragile. Yeah. I am having a hard time not running this into things. Also, one of the things I'm watching is the power cell. I don't know what I'm going to do when the power cell runs out. I think maybe we'll take this thing on a nice big trip to, um, Officer Keen's last known location. Getting dark out? But who cares because we've got... Oh wait, I'm going the wrong direction. <laughs> Let's replace it with a full power saw. Yeah, but then I'm going to make two new batteries. Do I just need to make batteries each time? I don't know, I'm assuming it's actually, it goes down as quick as, um... What's it called, uh... It's 
see glide. Oh, holy shit, did I... Did I just run into a fish? <clears throat> what the... Giant... Tentacle... Creatures, what? Oh god, is, is that what's making it deep? Those are peaceful? Oh, I can scan it. Reef back. life form is in excess of 30 meters long and has been designated Leviathan class and fortunately feeds exclusively on plankton like life forms. Or fortunately, the shell most of the life joins the top side and that's under sort of protected by a thick layered exoskeleton. Uh, similar in appearance to the LJ glands of Gaspod. Unknown purpose, local microcosm, an array of different bacteria and plant species grow on the reef shell, back shell, thrusting their roots into ancient scars in the chicken, taking advantage of mobility to avoid predation. Grown up reef back grow dangerous plants. Dangerous plants? So even the plants are out to kill you here? Oh god. I gotta say, those reef backs are terrifying though. Like just seeing these giant lumbering things. Oh, oh no, that did 15 damage. Oh no. Wait, can I... I have a repair tool that I just dropped because I'm a dumbass. Wait, can I scan the repair tool? Hold on a second. Wait, wait, wait. wait. What button does it drop again? RT. Is there even a drop button? No, I don't know how to drop it. Yeah, so that's what you meant when it said it's really, you said it's really fragile. Okay. Repair tool. Repair. Oh my god, that's awesome. Dude, I love these super simple mechanics in this game. But it's like... Got so much good sci-fi stuff. Okay, why did it just get really dark? Uh, why is it so dark? stock. Rogue's Cradle, we already found that. Ooh, that's a new type of outcrop. I think I was rolling this one of the dangerous biomes. Remember that materials you gather are the property of the All Terra Corporation. You will be liable to reimburse the full market price. Your current bill stands at 3 million credits. Oh god, Jesus Christ, that's... Whoa, you're a knight? You're an a knight. What is that like? That's like radioactive. 
Yeah, I need the clicking noise. Oh god. Oh! It marks my Seamoth! Yes, that's so good. back to my ship for that reason. Oh my god, this is so cool. This whole flow of... like... drifting around in your ship. Oh my god, so this was like terrifyingly dark at night. What are those glowing things over there? Oh, that's in the cave. I love this whole thing of exploring around in your ship and then getting out to like grab the resources and things. Maximum crush depth. So I can't go down there right now. Oh. What? Time capsule? New blueprints. That... New blueprint acquired. Okay, cool. Oh my god, so you can just find blueprints? Where is that? What is that under now? Motivational note. Craig McGill crash landed in the acid swamps of Boreal 9, fought off arachnid kidney poachers, <laughs> and hijacked a tame star wall. If he can do all that, you can survive one more day. Oh, I can survive more than one day. Dude, that's terrifying looking up there. Oh, man. Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay, so it says my depth right there. So I actually wonder how close can I get to this thing? Oh. There is, um, there's wreckage right here. Bioreactor. Wrong suit. Torpedo arm. Oh, there's both the fragments. Wait, is that like a weapon? Vehicle upgrades. Okay. open to access. That's what this laser cutter is for. So we gotta find the laser cutter blueprint somewhere to get in there. Be aware torpedoes suck. Okay. 
Now I'm aware. There's the other half. A nice bioreactor. That's so amazing, just being able to refill your oxygen there. Moon pool fragment. There's all these things I still have no idea what they are. Oh. Thermal plant fragment? There. Near blueprint acquired. Man, this place is amazing for blueprints. Blueprint acquired. Oh, I already got that. You can store your sea moth in a moon pool. Ooh. Diversity in this region is unusually low. Cause unknown. Um, I have diversity low. That's weird because the other area where we crash landed it said it was very unusually high. Maybe this whole planet's just unusual. Eggs. Yellow sack. Solid cave walls arise, low density gel is burst from time to time, floating upwards. Edible. Edible aerogel construction. Aerogel is like. Is blueprint acquired? Aerogel is a real thing in real life, isn't it? Like the super light see through. Yeah, aerogel, light porous dried gel, high heat insulation. That's cool. Well, we found a whole bunch of them here. I've done enough just exploring, trying to find blueprints there. I'm gonna go and try and find that Officer Keenan down the 100 meters. I hope there's not like crush depth for my actual diving. I should have brought the Sea Glide along. Whoa! I literally got a stasis rifle! Brings these objects in place. I didn't realize I actually picked one of those up. Oh yeah, we're gonna make it.
signal location uploaded to PDA. Integrating new PDA data. Ultra high capacity tank. New blueprint acquired. Integrating new PDA data. Now the question is, am I going to make it back? I see moth. Oh yeah, I am. You didn't pick it up? Okay, I can go back and grab it. I just do not want to drown. Second Officer Keenan's voice log. Keen, this is Aurora, come in. This is Keen. Light pod detached to Cape Planet, fall in 30 seconds. The computer has identified a landmass at the attached coordinates. I want you to regroup the crew there. Understood, but they are your responsibility now. Don't let them down. Captain, you need to evacuate. Negative. You'll need the ship in one piece if you're going to contact HQ on the long range. I'm attempting a controlled descent. Captain! Rip. Well, let me see if I got that. Um, ultra high capacity tank. You are right. I did not get the ultra high capacity tank. Oh wait, right there, modification station. Additional air capacity. So I need a modification station. Oh, so I'm gonna need... Holy shit, this is terrifying now that it's dark. Oh my god, there's nothing scarier than just like opening your eyes to darkness. Oh my god. Let's um... Wait! Aurora Rendezvous Point? Dry land? Oh my god, there's just so much stuff going on right now. Okay, I guess we're gonna go for it. Let's just go to it. It's right there. Is it in the opposite direction? Yeah, it's basically in the opposite direction. Well, let's go. Whoa, what are those spikes? Is that dry land right there? Seek fluid intake. No way. There's load there's these gel sacks making the Oh my god, they're floating on land. Okay, we've got land. Let's go. Let's park. Oh my god. Picking up multiple energy signatures on the island's surface. Multiple energy signatures. I'm not sure if that's a good thing, or... Oh my god, though, this game is beautiful. Bulbo tree. Based floor which roots to the ground and spreads turquoise leaves. Analysis suggests that that produced by this plant is poisonous to insects that can be harvested and consumed by humans for high water content. Ate food as well. Vital signs. No way. That is... Oh 
my god, so we actually have a food source here. Oh, did I leave the light on? We can actually see the light from this, that's so cool. I feel like I should turn that off to save energy. Look at the glowing trees on this island. This is amazing. Voxel shrub. Ronde Blue Point is right there. Now, I don't trust this game. There haven't been enough hostile creatures in this. I feel like there should be some terrifying creature or something. We have to board the Aurora, repair the long range comms, make contact with the other survivors. We can't be the only two that made it. Those are not the orders the captain gave me, and they are not the orders I'm giving you. This isn't chain of command, it's survival. My obligations as acting commander don't turn on their convenience. Get out of the water. If I get into trouble, I'll send you my coordinates. I can't let you go alone. Then come with me. You don't leave me much choice. Received emergency transmission from second officer key, two hours after last activity. Rendezvous was a failure. Intercepted a transmission from Altera HQ. Seems they sent a data package to the Aurora. We were intercepted by a Leviathan-class predator before we could reach the ship. Consider the CTO and I lost at sea. Be safe. Keen. Out. So... Sent a data package to the Aurora, so I guess we're supposed to go to the Aurora? Which is kind of what I already guessed. They said there were multiple energy signatures on this island though, does that mean there's like people here? I think I will end the stream here though. I'm getting tired and I'm planning to do a nice long programming or coding stream tomorrow which Druid BR was just in here asking for. So thanks for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed some Nautic or enjoying it as much as I do. See you around. Have a good night. Thank you for watching. <laughs>